Welcome to Eric Blackman Music. Welcome to my tutorial, all about notes on the guitar neck. The guitar is tuned standard, E, A, D, G, B, E. And why is it called standard tuning? That's because 95% of the music books published and music lessons offered online are designed for this tuning. That's pretty standard. Now some things we need to know about notes. There are only 12 notes that exist. Well, how does that relate to the guitar? Well, just think about it. And contrary to popular belief, thinking is not a bad thing. There are 12 notes between the open string and the double dot here on the neck. Now if we play those notes on the E string or the low E string, we're going to be playing E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, and E. So we're back where we started with E. Those are the only notes that exist. Now they exist in different pitches, like we have high notes or high E, and we have low E. But an E is an E. The pitch may be different. So that said, let's go to the E strings. If we have 12 notes that we can play between the open fret and fret 12 on the low E string, we also have that same number of notes on the high E string and they're going to appear at the same fret. If we have a G at fret 3 then we're going to have a G at fret 3 on the high E string. If we have an A at fret 5 which we do we're going to have a high A at fret 5 on the high E string. So what that means is, between the two E strings, if you know the notes on those strings, you already know a third of the notes on the entire fretboard. Because these two strings are a third of the strings that exist on the guitar. Now if we know that this is an A, how do we know what the note is on the string under it, or the A string? So the strings are tuned four notes apart, and that is with the exception of the B string, which is tuned three notes apart from the G string. Okay, so if we start with the low E string and play an A here, we can count four notes, A, B, C, and the next note's going to be a D. If we start here with a D, we can count up four notes, and we get D, E, F, G. So that note is a G. So using this method, we can figure out any note on the fretboard based on where we started on the E string, or the A string, or the D string, or G string. Now let's talk about notes on the B string. If we go to the G string, and we have a C note here, 
since the B string is tuned three notes apart from that string or from the G string then our note here would be C and we would go three notes C D E so now we have an E note now sometimes we have to contend with sharp and flat notes and we can go to any string and figure out which note is which by just starting with the open string if we have A a half step up on the first fret will be A sharp or B flat you see B is the second fret so if we went the other way it would be B flat so if we go that way the notes are called flats if we go this way which is higher in pitch we want to call the note sharp so if we're here at B and we go up C because there's only a half step between B and C now let's talk about playing stuff with notes right away I'm sure you've heard of the pentatonic scale and if you haven't you will the pentatonic scale is played like this it's a five note scale that's used in playing almost everything now we had five notes and that's the way I play the pentatonic scale and that's the way most people play it now those notes were A D G C E now you can play those notes by simply playing this fret so the pentatonic scale lives on every single fret here's A minor pentatonic or C major pentatonic or B minor pentatonic and that's at fret 7 now what I'm going to do right now is put on a backing track and I'm going to peck around on that one fret just, just to show you that you can play stuff just by messing around with the pentatonic scale on any given fret. Here we go. just shown you will help you to get around a little bit better on the instrument. You can also use the link in the description to go to my note charts so that you can learn every single note on the guitar. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.